Now we're going to talk real quickly about joining. Now joining I touched on earlier in terms of curves. If I have two lines or curves that end at the same point, I can highlight both. Use my join key, my join tool button which is found here, and it creates one curve. But what about surfaces? Well, if I have, for example, a surface built like this, I'm going to create something between them. I'm just going to use my loft key, my loft tool, and there we have something. Now, let's go to Transform, Mirror, and I'm going to mirror this right here at the edge. I just move the mouse down slightly to create a duplicate. Let's take a look. Now, since these surfaces line up perfectly, they can be joined with a join tool in the same way that a curve could. So what the join tool will allow you to do, if I mirror again, highlight everything, press join, now we have one closed poly surface that is actually one object. Just like curves, any surface must line up exactly to join to another. An exception to that is polygon meshes. If I create two polygon mesh spheres here, it doesn't matter where they are. I use my join tool. Two meshes joined into one. I can then explode them again if I'd like. But unless you're dealing with a polygon mesh, a curve or a surface to join to another must line up exactly.